Hello everyone, Rob here with ScrappyDo.com and in this video we're going to be talking about uh, this font right here, the MF I Love Glitter. Uh, you know, it's been a pretty popular font with what people are doing with it. Alright, now there, there's some questions with how do you get it to work inside Design Space. I'm going to show you how to do that. And if you plan on using this for a business and you plan on producing a lot of these things, uh, you may want to think about another program and that's going to be at the end of the video because the thing that you need to ask yourself is how much is my time worth okay and I'm going to show you how quick it is in this other program however let's go ahead and focus on design space so we're going to download this alright so there's the download button right there okay now I'm not going to do uh, a video demonstration in this video showing you how to install fonts we have those videos done already check the description box below in case you're wondering about that now we're going to assume that you have downloaded the font you have installed it and now you've opened up a fresh copy of uh, Cricut Design Space on the web alright so let's go ahead and add the font or add the text anyway and what we're gonna find out here is you know we're gonna run into a couple issues and I'm just gonna type out this name um, and we're going to hopefully have those same issues alright so we got uh, Jared on there now we need to adjust the font so with this selected over here under the edit side I'm gonna go ahead and change the font to the MF uh, glitter and I just type in MF it automatically populates right there and take a look at this we are now uh, in the font however it is not one continuous cursive now you can play with the horizontal spacing to see if it can get you close uh, what you'll find out is it gets you close but then it runs into the other letter I mean you can see that right there with the R and the E uh, for some reason design space uh, with fonts that are not basically Cricut fonts uh, you may have to tweak this so what can we do well you're gonna have to right click this on group and now we're looking to move every single individual letter so that it can make one continuous stroke right so we got that there's this and then we're going to do this now the reason why I picked this is because we may run into an issue once we try to weld. So I selected everything I chose over here in the layers and I'm going to go ahead and weld. What we may find out, which we did right here, is that the D disappears. So is there something that we can do in order to fix this? Um, you, you have a couple options available to you. One is you can course we need to undo but you could move the letter tweak it however a better option for you would be to simply click the problem letter um, move it to the back so arrange move to back and now when I weld for some reason this seems to work all right you see we didn't move anything but that's what we that's what we end up doing uh, one side note here is when you're trying to do those projects that have the little curly Q and the heart and stuff, a good reference to what letter key does that is found right over here. Okay, so there's those swirly hearts. Now, I told you at the beginning, if you plan on doing this for a business, you know, how much is your time worth? Would If you had 12 orders that you had to do today, would you like to move each order? one of them individually and worry about this uh, of course hopefully your answer would be no so let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do over here in this program all right so there's those those little swirlies that we're talking about so with this program all you have to do is obviously you need to select the font that you're working with there's the font uh, you go ahead and click anywhere there's our little cursor you have the choice to either use these keys down here or just type normally so with this I uh, if we're taking a look at the top here I uh, did that swirly just by clicking on it then I typed in on my keyboard scrappy do and then we find the heart we click on the heart and then we put the U right and then we add the ending tail one last step because uh, you know, I'll show you this here if I do a preview you can sort of see that 
these lines are running into each other. Well, just like in uh, design space, how we have to weld, uh, we, we can do the same thing here. We're, it's called union, but uh, weld works as well. But we, with the object selected, we just click on path, union, and then we're done. That's it. And then how do we get it into design space, right? Well, we go to file, export, and design space loves SVGs, right? Just going to call that SD. We're going to save it. See, we have design space compatible to make sure it checks for all the errors that could occur when we do upload an SVG, uh, unlike Inkscape, wink, wink. Um, and so all we have to do then is upload images, go up to upload image, browse, and then we need to find our SD SVG that we created. And there it is. I hit save. And, you know, which one went faster to you, I guess. So anyways, there that is. Um, you know, all welded, all together. I did not have to move any letter. I did not have to rearrange any letters to make sure that uh, the D wasn't blacked out or anything. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you next time.